basically here's the uh, front end, 5100, the wishbones, hubs, 288 calipers and carriers, and uh, the drive shafts. The drive shafts are actually the same, the same length, just the ends are slightly different. Uh, so we've polyurethane these with our own uh, polyurethane black uh, bushes, so it looks OEM. And in the rear, we actually use the TT um, S3 and R32 style rear bush. So it has some kind of compliance, but also a bit of control, uh, which is uh, quite a nice upgrade. Yep, so we're just gonna give this uh, a paint. It's on 415, and um, I'm ready to, to bolt onto the car tomorrow. So here we got the um, 4x100 anti-roll bar of the Cabrio as we finish up this 5x100 uh, conversion and this is the 5x100 um, the anti-roll bar so as you can see they're the same thickness the same shape apart from when it gets to the ends this goes through the wishbone the strut link uh, and this has got a Board joint drop link that bolts into the bottom in a different location further out as well uh, to give it more more stability so it's further away from the wishbone as well so it has more leverage actually on the wishbone near the edge whereas this is inboard a little bit as you can see there's quite a bit of difference to where they sit and also get a 312 on it with six more spaces on the 5100 it's uh, quite a nice thing to do and also just the, the ABS sensor on the left front is faulty so I'm just going to replace this so what I tend to do is to keep costs down I get uh, I actually buy uh, an Audi TT off eBay caliper and carrier these actually go for around anywhere between 15 18 pounds actually delivered. Um, I don't really care about the condition of them because all I want is the carrier because some people tend to send to sell the carriers by themselves like a pair of 312 calipers carriers sorry can go for around 50 pounds so I end up buying two calipers I don't care what they because they're not sided to the carriers I just buy them singly singly they, they tend to go for this I think I paid 18 pounds for this with delivery and this one was 16 pounds with a caliper so you end up paying less than 40 for two carriers and what I tend to do is I just tend to put the caliper back up for sale for I don't know, 10 pounds or something and actually end up getting them for next to nothing almost sometimes so um, yeah just gonna strip this down give these a, a good paint and a clean same with the anti roll bar then we can finish off this uh, 5 100 conversion with 312 So fitting the 312s, here's the old discs, so this is the difference in the height between the carriers, put them back to back so you can see. Something a lot of people forget to do when they uh, do the 5100 is change the spare wheel. So these come with a 14, 
4 by 100 spare wheel to go over the 256s. The latest spec Mark III uh, that came with 288s, they actually have uh, a 6 in inch um, spare wheel. It's a tight fit, but it's in. So at least I'm covered now for spare with a 5 by 100 16 inch. The US spec uh, handbrake cover with the petrol flap and the release I'm, I'm sure I'll find something for this just gonna remove the old one with this handle it's, it's damaged as well so no biggie there uh, maybe at a later stage depends uh, if I can find some old material this blue some blue centers I'll get the handbrake retrimmed in the same color which uh, might be an idea. Speak to my mate uh, who does trimming. Uh, maybe he can sort that out. Okay, so just going to remove these two Phillips here. Just a matter of just lifting up, pulling it back, lifting up the handbrake as much as you can get it. Slide it forward. Quite easy, really. Okay. Then out of thirteen, remove these. Just turn it and it comes out. See it? So keep it as a spare to get retrimmed. Okay, so now it actually doesn't go this way around, it needs to go the other way around. Okay, so uh, screwed it back the right way around and uh, just gotta line it up there. Perfect. And then, as you can see, it lines up, so we screw that in now. Finish this off. And get the grommet. Job done. See so ya. Yeah, looks a lot, a lot better in here. So doing a bit more on this, this project on the inside. So we uh, mounted up the uh, central console and stuff. Yeah. The standard radio just looks nice with the blue. Illuminations and stuff. Bought one of these kits on eBay for a grand total of nineteen ninety nine with postage, and um, literally just um, which consists of that goes in where the CD changer is, a uh, little earth, and then this connector here that goes to a box. It goes into this box, and then goes to a three point five mil jack and the kit also comes with a, a, a lead a jack to jack so I just cable tie this up first thing is it's just literally yeah. just be careful not to to break this, it's quite fragile. Okay, so now we've got access to run the wire down behind. Also, I have this little, this kit, the radio removal kit, and these are the VW ones. Okay, actually go around this way around, and you'll hear it click in. Give it a slight little pull. There you go. And this, so what we'll do is literally we just unplug this. Okay, so just remove this. And this isn't this isn't needed anymore. Just literally just plugs in into there. 
this earth. Bolt this earth. Onto the back of the stereo. Into this little bit here. Okay, so I've mounted the radio back on. Fed the wire through, which is just there. With the USB, made a small hole in the central console, just under here. So it's the end of another, another part. And so this side stands at the moment. So what have we done? We've got the 5100 at the front, which bones, hubs, and a roll bar. Drop links, got the 312 conversion, calipers and carriers and discs, uh, polyurethane bushes with TT bushes at the front, uh, we've done the front cross member, uh, Powerflex Black, we've got a new speed top strut brace. Um, the back still doesn't have the rear beam, uh, the bushes are in order, so we're going to get um, those. So we can uh, clean up and uh, recondition that rear beam and put that on. Uh, so next is, he's got 215 4017s and uh, it's, it rubs slightly at the front and it rubs on the back. And um, so potentially thinking about going down to uh, 205 4017s, which actually takes the running radius back to the standard 205 45 16 so uh, so that's the plan uh, it's sitting slightly lower at the back because there's a set of rims in the back so it, it doesn't normally it sits pretty square pretty standard it looks OEM almost just slightly lowered and that's the look that we're going for in this one just like an OEM plus so now it's going to start on the engine engine and gearbox so the next installment will be engine and gearbox